This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Gene. Yeah, it is a cool sound. Um, so I added shows last week in Boise, Idaho, and the uh, the Boise Theater, and it sold out. The first one sold out. So it's at the Egyptian, sorry, the Egyptian Theater in Boise on October 5th. So we added a second show, I'm doing a late show now. If you didn't get tickets to that first one, Try to get tickets to this one. Try to get them. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a few tickets left for the third show in New Orleans, September 29th. Uh, Breast Balls Beach, Florida. The West Palm Beach Improv has shows or tickets. That is in August. And uh, where did I add? I added a, or I have a show in Sacramento, October 6th. I have a show in Fresno, October 26th. And in Bakersfield, October 27th. Those are on sale. Jack Me Off Phil, Florida, November 2nd. Orlando, Florida. <laughs> yeah. November 3rd is uh, Orlando. And then Fill Her Up, Delphia at the Merriam Theater. November 16th has been added. So uh, those tickets are all at TomSegura.com slash tour. Gene? Oh, you know what? You got to do this all over again because your your mic is muted. Yeah. I can hear you too, but you're not. Trock now? Meow, 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 Yeah, now you're back. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll just do my dates over. That's all I did so far. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Hold on, let me pull them up. Okay. Hold on. I'll give you a, just for people, because they're going to hear an edit. Um... This is uh, Christina. Un her mic is now unmuted, <laughs> so now she can talk. Go ahead. To dream come true, Tom. I know. Unmuted mic. So May thirty first, uh, here in Los Angeles, we don't have one for Los Angeles. Mom's. Mm. Mom's Angeles. I mean, it is like the center. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so May thirty first, eight o'clock show. It's going to be in the belly room at the Comedy Store with my favorite comedians. It's going to be myself, right? We got Ryan Sickler, a.k.a. Sickle Cell, Sam Tripoli, Steve Simone, and Joni Coyote. They're going to be my special guests, and it's going to be a blast. Tickets available now on Christina P. Online. It's a tiny, tiny room. It's intimate for a reason. I can't tell you what the reason is, but it's very exciting. When do you get to tell reasons? As soon as things are signed, I think. Oh, okay. But it's very exciting, amazing. and you're going to be a part of something very cool. So get those tickets now. November... <sighs> Really, Tom? November 24th, Man Diego at the House of Blues. Uh, tickets are going quickly on that one. And then December 8th in Judork Titties at the Gramercy Theater. Just a handful of uh, tickets left on that. Christina P. Online for for all the links. Thank you. I love you. All right. There you have it. That there was, it goes. It's so and... distracting that you <laughs> belched during yeah. my thing. I, I think people are very upset. I'm sure they are. All right. It's fixed. Okay. Better now? Uh, much better now. Um, let's see. Thank you to Scott for uh, walking us through that. I think it's fixed. Let's see. Let's see if it's fixed. I think it is fixed. Try it out. Yep. Um, I love you again. Okay. You're supposed to... Sounds good. <laughs> Do we have an opening clip? <laughs> You're supposed to reciprocate. You're supposed to reciprocate? Well, that's, that's a big word. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> supposed to give it back <sighs> all right i love you again well how did you stop 
How are you going to stop? What did how what did I do to make you stop? All right, I love you. I love you again. All right, a lot of really amazing stuff to get into on this show. <laughs> I mean, really, really, <laughs> really good stuff. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get into this show. Here you go. Hi, I'll make this brief. My name is John Lyu Shipman. I'm looking for girls for pussy. Hi, Faye. I'd love to eat pussy. Okay. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. No <laughs> mother in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome to your mom's house. It looks like he likes to eat a lot of stuff. <laughs> we keep getting these cool guys that put these <laughs> videos out. How are they finding this? I don't know. It's And it's a very unique lane. I Whoever mean... is sending these in, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> this is exactly what gets me going. Me too. And it meets all the criteria. And Have again, an excellent Your Mom's perfect. House video. Portrait mode. Tight. Uh, <laughs> white, white wall, background, you know, ceiling. What normally happens <laughs> is they hold the camera away <laughs> and you kind of get a little too much, you know, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah He went yeah. the opposite. It's too much face. He's holding his, <laughs> his phone right here. He's all face. It's almost like he's telling you a secret that he likes pussy. That's and that disgusting. He's for it. I don't want to know that close. And he's got acne and uh, he's I so I feel horrible. like most of these guys need to know that all girls know that you want pussy. Yeah, dummy. And they don't want to hear you say that. <laughs> they never want to hear you say it. That's true. It is kind of a given. Yeah. He does he's not shocking anybody with this news. No, no. Yeah. It's, Dude, he's fucking nasty. We all like it. We all well, want it. Yeah. Well, you know, or some version, whatever you Ugh, like. He is so damn gross. If you're in a fat guys, <sighs> you're looking for some action, you live in Missouri. He's got a whisper too. He's doing Please. a low talk. Call me Ugh. at one five seven or text oh my, me. Oh my god, text at one six three. Oh, he gave two different numbers out. <sighs> What's with the whisper? Why does he? The whisper you can talk call too. on. I know the whisper talks also. He's can you put restaurant. these on the Drew list, please? Yeah, 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 Missouri gross. fat guy, pussy Missouri hound. Guy. <laughs> Let's see, put that on yeah. the list. Now, what's the Drew list up to? How many we we have for him? Hold on, let me find it first. There's got to be some new. Uh, this is like new stuff for Drew. Yeah, he's this is this is fucking not normal. I don't know where it is. Where did it go? Your two Drew list? Oh, maybe I'm on the other side. Here it is. Missouri fat guy. Yeah. How many other things are on there for Drew? Well, we can we should have them in pretty soon. Yeah. Looks good. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight, that's enough. Nine, ten, what? eleven. Eleven with the Missouri fat guy. Are you serious? Well, yeah, of I mean, things that he hasn't seen yet. Yeah, fresh material. Like this show is a, is a, a, a grist for the mill of crazy. Yeah, we've got the mill. Oh my god, I didn't know it was that many. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, Doctor Drew, please come back. We got a. Oh, I keep telling him. I keep forwarding him these clips. Yeah, what does and he say? Like just, it's usually an emoji with vomit. Some kind. He's you like, send him the clip itself. No, I sent him the teaser of, oh. of last week, and oh. uh, we, were, we were like, "This one's for him." Yeah. And um, he's ex he's excited. He's like, "Can't wait! Can't wait!" All right. With a barf emoji. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Let's see what Ugh, he's. I wonder this what this guy's, guy's so into. Nat I don't. I don't need to know. I'd love to know. I'm a kinky motherfucker. Yeah, we know. I built a sex wing time machine out of beef jerky. Uh oh. I want a girl who can roll a blunt with her pussy. Uh oh. Text me at one six. Or call me, my name's John, call me okay, at John. one five. Bye. Wait, um, mm. I'm hearing a little Daniac. Um, it's like yeah. the spaghetti spaceship oh, I talk. Think, yeah. I think Drew's going to talk about these eyes. Yeah, the lock. And the uh, level of volume in the yeah. voice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm also, like, again, there's a, a little delusional made of beef jerky and the thing and, and the... roll a blunt with your pussy yeah it's not possible it's not possible no no matter how talented your yeah, puss I'm puss gonna, is i want to leak you busy yeah. why the low talk what is that his sexy voice i don't know i want a girl who can roll a blunt with her pussy that's <laughs> it's pretty he's trying to be that's but that's his deliberate sexy time voice yeah. is what i'm, I'm saying a sex wing time machine out of beef jerky <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> a sex yeah. wing time machine out of beef jerky that's really nuts what does that even mean what does that mean, sir? Oh. Do you think anyone called or texted him? 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that maybe these, now they will. Well, that's what I'm saying. You and I have been giving these guys a great platform. I know, but you, we don't give out their numbers, obviously. Yeah, but that's, you that's can a, find this. But they guy. can find them. We uh, <laughs> uh, the meth dick guy took his video down. What? Why? Yeah. I wonder why. I think people found him. <laughs> And they were like, hey, man, I want to see that dick get bigger. <laughs> That's the thing about our uh, listeners is that they are so good at finding these people. Yeah. And no, just you can't hide. You can't hide from the them. mommies. Yeah, no. the <laughs> <laughs> they are a harnessed force and, and they should never be messed with, you know? Yeah. <sighs> man. Yeah. Quite a force. Oh, my God. I, I don't want to forget. So that's why I'm jumping into this right now. What's that? Um, I did it. I did it. I did it. I went ahead and against your wishes. Um, hold on. Oh, boy. Against your wishes. With no neuropathy. No neuropathy issues. He just said. Whatsoever. Uh... Um, I'm not sure why that's um, relevant to his discussion of what, when his brother comes so hard yeah. with no known neuropathy. Wouldn't neuropathy hinder his ability to come R- rather than bolster it, boost his ability to come hard? Do you know what I'm saying? Like his argument is yeah. there's no known neuropathy. That would be an advantage is what I'm thinking to his coming so hard. It's all the meth. Mm. So why mention the neuropathy I don't know, babe. He smokes meth regularly. I mean, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> I'm just trying to make logical sense yeah, out of the that's, argument. That's your, that's your problem. <laughs> that's my problem with yeah. crazy. Is my whole life I've tried to understand it, and I just you can't you can't understand it. You just gotta let it go. You dared me, <laughs> yeah. and and double dog dared me, and yeah. said it's not possible. Uh, I didn't say and, that. And uh, you said it's not a good I idea. I didn't say it's not possible. And I went and pulled the trigger anyway. Oh boy! It's the four stroke gang T-shirt. <laughs> Um, from us here at your mom's house. Oh boy. We went with the approach of, uh, Hmm. having uh, golf clubs. Uh, A lot of people were telling me, oh, motorcycles have four stroke engines, but. I no, no, I wouldn't know that. Well, I, that, I just was just like, yeah, I don't. Uh, that doesn't. So it says your mom's house, four stroke gang, don't meth with us, which is pretty funny. I like the tag. Yeah. It's pretty great. I'm trying to find, uh, I want to find the gentleman that designed gentleman. it for us. Uh, gentleman. It's Jeffrey Miles. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, thank you very much. Uh, it says your mom's house, and then on that bottom part it says don't meth with us, which was a suggestion from somebody for Stroke Gang. So it's in the store. Um, let's and, sh- and we'll be let's, selling about five or seven of these. So. Let's show Christina what time it is <laughs> okay. and uh, prove to her okay. that Four Stroke Gang can Okay. Be for the masses. My my prediction. Uh huh. A lot of XLs. <laughs> a lot of L's. <laughs> Not a lot of uh, female cuts being sold. I, I don't think know if we're guys... going male only on this. Yeah, one. I think that. Okay, well that's a smart idea because you're not going to see a lot of uh, females. Female sizes. Not necessarily Smalls, true. Mediums. You're going to see the yeah. larger sizes being sold. Mm, I think you're full of it, but yeah. <laughs> um, I would be. I would be so surprised if I saw a woman at a your mom's house event or at one of our stand-up shows wearing this. I would not be surprised. This That's is... the difference between you and me. Okay, well. I believe. I'd like to get some numbers on these because this is uh, the Rub Rub shirt. And no offense to the designer because he tweeted me and he was like, I'm, I can't believe you. Yeah, that was funny. I, mean, I was yeah. joking, but. Uh, the design is fine. I'm not saying anything. I just think the concept, the idea of your of a cum beard on a comedian's face, it's a little aggressive. And I'm thinking four strokes till someone comes hard. Again, a little aggressive. But again, they did the play on, they put golf clubs there. Oh, I got it. No, so. I understand the joke. It's very clever. But, uh, you know, but, what does it mean? It's about... Well, now it's like an inside thing where, like, somebody who just walks by someone in that shirt, it's like, oh, God, I got it. Uh, golf thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing at my reaction. I love it. <laughs> you know yeah. what's great about it? Yeah. It happens every every episode. I know, I know. And it's you terrible. get mad every time. I know. It's terrible. It's so funny. Um you're like um Charlie Brown when he goes to kick the ball and then Lucy takes it away. I know. And he's like, I, why did I keep trying? Anyways, um disgusting but gross. Here, but look, vile. A passerby sees it and they go, Oh, it's a it's a golf friend. But then if it's a somebody that's in the know, they know that it's a meth smoking jerk off thing. <laughs> That's a meth pipe, right? Under the golf clubs. Yeah, but meant to look like a a T with a ball kind of upside down. You know? Sure. It, it's actually very Can you good. know what would be really funny? Because doesn't your dad golf? Yeah. 
Maybe we could get him a shirt. Oh, I'll definitely send him one. <laughs> hey, buddy, I did a golf shirt. Uh, what's this four stroke gang, pal? <laughs> so four strokes would imply we that we got to get him on the show soon. He uh, he's on a trip right Hold now. Hold on, four strokes would imply that you can get the ball in the hole in four. Well, tries. it would. Well, I mean, it would just doesn't necessarily suggest that. It's just you know, a stroke is uh, you know, a swing of it. Uh, um, you, right. three strokes, four strokes. So you're. I think it would just suggest to a golf person that it's just golf lingo. You know, what'd be super funny is if golf nerds did buy it and oh, no idea. It. I know. Like, oh, it'd be so funny. Wear just it to a, the driving range. Like a bunch of dad boners wearing it. What's the four stroke ring? Is that you and your <laughs> friends? You go play golf? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, um, have fun selling those five shirts. And I'm gonna um, prove you so wrong on this. Let's see what mentally ill women, you know, are into this kind of stuff. I'm telling you. It's in the store now, Merch Method, merchmethod.com. So gross. Slash Tom Segura. Um, we did our- uh, So gross. We did an overnight to get away. Yeah. For one night, what we do is uh, we take our son, we put him in the dog crate, we put a bowl, <laughs> put some water, some food. Fresh water, though. Fresh Don't water. get upset. We leave him diapers. We're like, change yourself. And then- <laughs> Sure. Uh, we uh, we just leave him for like a day. Get, uh, please say that you're joking so that child services doesn't come- Investigating. I'm, just, I'm kidding. It's less than a day. We do them for like 18 hours. Okay. Um, no, we have. Uh, he's watched. Don't worry about it. No. Yeah. Yeah. We'll leave him his cigarettes and his his booze, and then we go overnight. It's just with something we do every once in a while. And we went to a nice place. We spent the night out, but uh, first we went to their spa and did like nice mommy treatment at the spa, and. Um, Beforehand, before we left the house, actually, it was like midday, you had ordered a Mediterranean lunch. Yeah. And you were like, try all this stuff. And I go, okay. And it was really good. I, was it an Israeli or was yeah, it? See, yeah, yeah, Mediterranean diet. I was reading how healthy it is. And I'm really into sour tastes right now being preggers. Yeah. So, you know, it's like uh, uh, fucking hummus and yeah. chicken kebabs and, and I, stuff like that. I had, you know, I'd had breakfast and I was, I was like, but I'll try these and- I took a couple bites of things, really fresh. Eggplant, um, yeah, they like that. Fresh salads mix, right? Diced Cucumber, up. tomatoes, all fresh. Very good. Yeah. Really good. And then, of course, like a homemade fresh hummus. Hummus, I think yeah. is how you hummus. Hummus, yeah. Hummus. So I, I had that hummus and um, a few bites, then a few more. I was like, it's really good. Yeah. And we drive to the place and um, we check in together. I go in my room. I lay on this table. And a uh, therapist comes in and is like, um, okay, here, you know, whatever, like, relax, have a nice treatment. And then as she, like, changes the light in the room, my stomach goes, Of course. Oh. I was like, oh, my God. And, like, you know when you, I could feel it, the feeling from my gut to my yeah. asshole? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm looking through that donut. That yeah. your face is in, and I my eyes widen. And I go, oh my god! It's a catch it quick on the yeah. way out, and yeah. I just squeeze yeah, yeah. my cheeks oh, yeah. so hard, so hard. Yeah, I spent the first fifteen minutes just like this yeah. in that donut, like I'm looking in a panic, in a full panic, and then eventually it just went back up inside me. Somewhere. Isn't that interesting? Because yeah. I, I had a panic fart too, because that Mediterranean food really creates a lot of gas, and I just clench as hard as I can, which is very hard for me. Um, but then it just disappeared. Yeah. Now here's the nice part is that the minute you stand up after the massage, it all comes out. Oh, it is. Here's the thing. And you forgot about it. That's what yeah. happened. Is that, you know, it's like a 90 minute treatment massage. So when I, when you're, when it's like, okay, it's done. You kind of have that drunk post massage feeling where you're like, whoa. Yeah. And She's like, I'll be waiting outside with water. Yeah. And you go, okay. Fuck your water. And I sit up and you're like, oh, man. You sit on the table for a second, kind of gather yourself, put your robe on. You're like, oh, man. And then as I'm about to walk out, I go, oh, I got that fart again. Yeah. And now you back. feel no pressure or no fear. Yeah. And it's just, it's like it built. It, it grows. It grows and then it comes out so fast. Yeah. And so effortlessly. You're, you're, but also with more substance and purpose. Yes, yes. I mean, it yes. a, a, has really some meaning behind it. Yeah. Like, you can't yeah. stop it if you wanted yeah, to at like, that point. Oh. 
It's like a second massage just to have <laughs> Now, what's really neat is where I was climbing up some stairs with you to go back to our oh room, and there was a gaggle of young girls, little 12, 13 year old teens. They were rompers. not 12, 13. Weren't they? No. Well, how old are those sluts? No, like 17, 18, 19. Like, yeah, they're older teens. They were sluts. <laughs> okay, yeah, they were total sluts. <laughs> no, they look, they look tiny. Everyone looks so young to me now. They're not 12. No. And they were walking. I, I, I climb steps slowly now, so yeah. they're like all kind of going past. And I let out the biggest fart. I, I mean, not believe it. Well, and here's what's interesting, okay? Here's why I wrote it down for topic today. Oh. Because if you recall, the Cincinnati fart happened when I was six months pregnant in Cincinnati. And uh, what room do we <laughs> 618 or 808? Yeah, we couldn't figure we it couldn't out. We couldn't figure it out. And... Um, and it came to it came to my attention that pregnancy farts for me are more powerful. They smell exactly like what I have just eaten. I um, the what? day it's on his mess. The other okay. day, it's on his mess. I had some broccoli mm -hmm. and and beef stew. I, I farted like an hour later. It smelled exactly like the beef stew and the broccoli. It was, it was so crazy. Pretty intense. Fart yeah. And. So I let out that f tremendous fart on the stairs, and I was like, this is one of the nice things about being pregnant, is the volume, the ferocity. The There's probably people that, had they really heard and seen you do that, would have been like, yeah. that poor woman. You get so much <laughs> empathy as a, you know. You think they take mercy on Oh, me? definitely. Like, if I had done it, they'd be like, look at that pig. Yeah. Just sitting there farting like an animal. With you, they'd have been like, oh, that, that nice lady. They have no idea what a savage you are. No idea. No. That's the best part about being a lady is that nobody knows. It's it's my secret. Yeah, it's your secret. <laughs> it's your secret. F-A-R-T. Yeah. F-A-R-T. F-A-R-T. No, that was great. And then uh, here's the other thing that we- Oh, my uh, God. I'm so we're at this, we're idiots. at a nice place. You know, it's our one night out uh, for like, I don't know, the month or two. And we never go out to dinner anymore. Like, we're in bed by- <sighs> Eight o'clock watching yeah. TV, like it, the dinner doesn't happen. So make all. a reservation at a nice restaurant, a really nice restaurant. <laughs> and we eat and at we, five. And we look at the menu <laughs> and we're like, it's going to be a great meal. And then, especially because you're pregnant, because I actually, I, I follow the lead a lot. Like I'm, I try to be a good boy, but if there's a pregnant woman eating and saying time to eat, <laughs> I can only resist so much. Yeah. And so it's like, there's a few hours and you're like, well, I got to eat something. Like I, got, I need a snack. Yeah, I can't, between... I, cause we had a good two two hours and 45 minutes before our dinner reservation. At this point. Now here's the thing. Yeah. We usually eat dinner like at five with our kid. Yeah. And our dinner reservation was for 7.45. That's right. Which is for me, that's pajamas at bedtime. Right. So I five, mean, you're, like, you're like, you're oh, like, I got to wait almost three hours. Can't do it. You got, I got to order something. Yeah. So we pull up the room, <laughs> the in-room dining menu. Yeah. And we start ordering <laughs> beet salad, cheese, calasmarties, and then what was the other thing? Oh, the chips and guac. Uh, that's always the nail in the coffin. Yeah, that was bad. Fuck. I mean, it was good, but anyways, they bring it up and then yeah, uh, you start they, just picking and, and picking. And they brought cookies too. Yeah, I know. Fuck. They they brought a whole thing of different cookies. I, and I was know. like, what the fuck, fuck is this? Dude, I was so like, hungry. Oh, just welcome. This is just a gift from the <laughs> staff. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I just, I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm looking at you. I'm like, <laughs> supposed to have dinner in an hour. And you're like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're going to skip appetizers. I'm like, yeah, I think we just did appetizers. <laughs> yeah. Ended up being a, a great meal. That we only ate <clears throat> yeah. Even when I, half of. When I ordered dinner, the guy was like, I need sides. <laughs> I was like, nope. He's like, it's not that big. I go, it's fine. <laughs> I never do that. I was like, no, no, it's good. We're such idiots. And that's such a nice place. And we never really go out tonight. We don't go down to nice places anymore. And like, we totally blew it, dude. We blew it on calamari and chips and salsa. So stupid. And our chips and guacamole. It still was a fun night, though. Super fun. Yeah. But I was like, dude. That got faded. Such idiot. You did get faded, huh? Huh, yeah, of course. What did you drink? I drank, um, oh, I tried one of their signature cocktails. I didn't even you know? know that. Yeah. And then uh, I had a glass of wine after that. Super Crazy. faded. <laughs> Rip, bro. I was, just, I was, I'd be carried huh. back to the room. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. But those, you know what's so funny too, you and I are, we're, this is why we're married and we've been together for so long, is that we both like the same things, which is laying down mm -hmm. and then eating. Yeah. Well, it makes for a good relationship. <laughs> Watching stuff, 
farting, laughing. You gotta be into the same stuff, man. Petting dogs, you know what I mean. This is something I want you to think about since um, we're gonna have another baby soon. Okay. Also making news today, a bit of a stink over baby nappies. A sexuality <laughs> expert claims parents must ask permission <laughs> before changing their child's <laughs> nappy. Nappy, uh, of course, is a uh, die die. Yeah, um, it's a foreigner word for it. Yeah, that's what the Australians Aussies say. Um, so it's the idea that we should ask this child to be about. For consent to change. Deanne Carson believes consent must be given by the child before their dirty nappy is removed. Here she is on the ABC <laughs> suggesting how to go about it. I'm going to change your nappy now, is that okay? Of course the baby's not going to respond, yes mum that's awesome, I'd love to have my nappy changed. But if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait sure. to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know <laughs> that their response matters. You're leaving, letting that child run away from the change table is what right. you're doing. That's right. That's right. She uh, just. That's and, uh, what I was gonna say. I love that she shit She's on like... her. <laughs> that's such. What's going on what in this a world? What dipshit? What the fuck is that? You know what's wrong is that people don't think there's objective reality anymore. Everybody's living in their own version of it. Yeah. And so whatever you say is right. It doesn't matter. There's no objective shit happening. The thing is, um, this woman had it right on the head. You ever try? to change a diaper on a screaming infant who's wet and miserable. First of all, they never give consent, you know? It's, no. a, it's like one out of ten. Like, half the time, <laughs> <laughs> when a kid can't even respond, they're usually like, no, no. And you're like, yeah. you have shit on you. <laughs> well, this morning, yeah, yeah, it takes ten minutes just to wrangle the toddler in yeah. uh, to convince him to stop playing for five seconds. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a fucking nightmare, man. <sighs> and an infant, someone who can't even really talk, respond. Yeah. Oh my God, that is the dumbest thing I've ever Imagine fucking having heard. A fucking eight week old, is it okay with you? <laughs> this dumb bitch and I have never had a kid in her life. This uh, stupid not surprisingly, bitch. it's caused quite a stir. Some slamming the concept as <laughs> left stupid. lunacy. Yes, Ms. Carson has defended her comments, saying the idea around consent is about empowering children with okay. their rights and protecting okay. them from sexual abuse. Oh, Ugh. okay. Well, here's the thing: you just tell the kid, "Mommy and Daddy change your your die die." Yeah, and it, you know nobody else. That's it. Or, or if someone touches your, why can't you just have a conversation with your kid? Is what I'm saying. Isn't she talking about like stupid idiot kids that can't speak though? I She's talking about say, babies. Oh I've got a 16 month old. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do too, photo. It's cuckoo. It's ridiculous. It's cuckoo. Yeah. I actually can see her point. Oh, oh okay. Come on. Well, my little girl Pearl says no every yeah. single time. That's what we just said. Every single time. So well, you're not respecting her consent. Though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like these two. I know, I too. Yeah, of course. Aussies keep it real, man. Yeah. Um, oh, I know. Yeah, well, you're, not, you're not respecting her consent. To change that baby's nappy. Well, then yeah. I guess diaper changing is a sexual event. Is that what they're saying? I don't know. I'm is... going to change your nappy now. Is that okay? <laughs> is that okay? I mean, you're not touch. You know what I mean? You're, it's not a sexual. Uh, I, I understand the 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 kind of the logic. Yeah. Of like, can I pull your pants down essentially and do the you know wipe you up? But you know what? This is a it, this is. I mean, it's it's madness. Yes. It's it's absolutely madness that you would think to ask a baby for <laughs> consent to. I mean, the fact that we're even having this conversation. Yeah. Is well, madness. I'll tell you what else is insanity. Uh, remember that gender the, the, in was it Holland, and she was asking the two-year-old what gender the two-year-old felt that day. Oh, fuck. And it's like the, the kid doesn't even understand the fucking question. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and it's like they don't. They're not even thinking that way yet. No. It's not even. It's not happening. Uh, I'll tell you who's not. <sighs> into giving consent for hate everything. a couple, a number of the things they do. Let me show you this gentleman. Don't alter ego. Good for him. I, I mean, I, I can't say I wouldn't try to do the same in prison. Well, sense. it does make sense. It's scary as shit, though, right? Yeah. I mean, this guy's terrifying. But that's why, he, that's his signature move. Yeah. He's telling you, I'm a, I'm a, if you fuck with me, I'm going to put my finger in your butt. I'm going to put my finger up your butt if you fuck with me. He's the backside guy. Oof. No, he's smart. He knows what he's doing. No, he's, it's I, called marketing. It's called branding, Tom. Get on board. I don't know, man. It's um, That's intense. So Nobody fucks with it, him? No, no one fucks with him. And they, you, you realize that you probably get the warning when you get to that, <laughs> when he when sees you get to that you, unit. He's like, 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, man. And then he, if you're new, you ask him about, you're like, that dude showed me his finger. Yeah. What's that all about? I'm like, well, <laughs> this dark side. And uh, he's got a real dark side. He will. Uh, he's dark side. He'll knock you out. And he'll put his finger up your ass. Just be aware of the thumb. If you get on his bad side, he'll disgrace you. He'll slaughter your name. It don't matter what you do, he gonna get you. Love it. Love this guy. Duck they tape. call me duck tape. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, you, you got to credit this guy for some creativity here. He's got a great hook. He's got a great way of protecting hook. himself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's kind of brilliant. I think this is brilliant. Really? Dude, if you were in prison with all these fucking hard dudes. Yeah. And you got them all afraid of you because you're going to shove your finger in your in their butts. Yeah. It's brilliant. I feel like he would just be giving his idea to all these other guys, though. I mean... No. What's to stop the other guy from being like, oh, that's what I'm going to do too. <laughs> you know? So they're both trying to put their fingers yeah, in each other's exactly. butts when they're fighting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Exactly. You can't take another inmate's calling card. That's not cool. I mean, what's going to stop you? You're a convict. You're a, you know, remember this? This is also a prison guy. I give him the grease. Yeah, that guy's terrible. No, I tell him to put some on his finger. Stick it in his ass and, and you know what I'm saying, kind of like fuck yourself. Yeah, that's even scarier though to tell somebody to put their finger in their own ass. Oh, this one's that one's super menacing yeah. because you know it's leading to uh, a Butt rape. fucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Because he's like, you got to lubricate yourself so I don't get in trouble. Wasn't that yeah. the reasoning? Imagine like, yikes, <sighs> to fuck yourself. Yeah, put some on his finger. <laughs> Stick his ass. You know what I'm saying? Fuck himself. Yeah. Well, this guy, it's just a finger in the stink and well, then you're he's done. He's when you're knocked out. Yeah, so it's fine. Like, there's no, no, it's no harm. Fine. What are you talking about? Well, you're knocked out. You're not going to feel it. Uh, You'll feel it afterwards. It's just a finger or a thumb. You think thumb. he does it gently? Well, it's a thumb on a, you know, you're already unconscious. So what? I'm not going to play with nobody. That's why they call me dog. So I ain't going to play with nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's all survival. It's all survival. He's got it. He's got it. He's got the right idea, this guy. You're a fan of Dark Side. Hey, man, if I were in prison and if I were smart enough to come up with a hook like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this guy's a genius. A genius. Dark Side's a genius. Dark Side! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flava Flav. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know what i am saying 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 you know what I think they know better than that. I think they may have had a cellmate print before. Remember that one? There was that one on lock. Will you turn me up a little bit? Uh, there was that turn, one. Turn me on, my headphones. Uh, Lockup guy who uh, he had a crazy, thank you. It was a Kentucky one. Yeah. He had a crazy mullet. And remember, he was, he had a really scary stare. Yeah. And he told a story about how he had a cellmate. He didn't like him. Yeah. So he told the warden or the guards, like, I don't want to be cellmates with this guy anymore. Like, get him out of here. And they go, like, you don't get to decide that. So he just killed him. Whoa. And then he goes, all... guess what? I don't have a cellmate no more. <laughs> I just decided for <laughs> yeah, you, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah. Some of these dudes are pretty wild. Gosh. <sighs> well, <sighs> that's why they're locked up. Yeah. Um, what is this? I haven't seen this. Did someone say they discovered a, what is this? I want to share with you. Oh, in Gastonia. That's really close to where I went to college, North Carolina. Hmm. This is a uh, poo pile in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm out here working in Gastonia, North Carolina, and uh, <laughs> I know Christine's had all these doubts about poo pile not <laughs> existing and it not being a common thing around here, but uh, yeah. this is a local poo pile here. Uh, Gastonia. Uh, wow. The tree's right above us. You can see it's flowering. Yeah. This is what we do around here. Yeah. Poop pot, man. Uh, Thank you, Edwin. That's Tar Heel State. Nasty as hell, Edwin. Yep. Mm hmm. But again, I'm not seeing the design that you describe where people put, you 
steps on the tree well, ladder, and then there's a... I had a little more ingenuity, so... I mean, that just looks like a bunch of sticks and some turds. Let's switch gears for a second. Uh, thank you, Edwin, for filming that. Um, a lot of people were excited last week uh, by my Try It Out video, mm. and it ended up leading to a real examination of one bit of dialogue. Yes. Uh, this is big, your mom's house news. Uh, yeah. Hot debate. We have been examining this. Then I made note of the ridiculous amount of different versions of things people are hearing. There really, there really are a lot. Really? Yeah, I wrote them okay. all Oh, yeah, down. yeah, let's hear it. Well, first, I guess let's, let's replay the audio so of course. people can... Piss on me, beat me, home me now. So it's that oh, yeah, last yeah. bit there. Home me now. Right? Home me now. Home me now. So piss on me, beat me. Piss on me, beat me, home me now. That last bit home in, yeah. really gets to people. Gets to and, me. Yeah. So here is, I'm going to run through. These are all the ones that were suggested at least a few times. It's a few. Mm -hmm. The first one, which was suggested the most, actually, okay. is that he's saying, home me out. Ah, uh, words, Because uh -huh. this is after he says, um, yeah, uh, you got a friend, your friend can move in too. Right? Ho so home me out. So he's saying like, yeah. home me out to all your friends is what they're saying. Yes, yes. Home, home me out. Home me out. But then I hear home me on out. Right. Home me on out is what they're, some people are saying he's saying. Home me on out. Like, home me on out. You know, like. Home me on out. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Home me on out. Home me on out. Home me on out. Some yes. people heard help a man out. Oh, oh okay. Now, of course, when I say these things, none of them should be uh, heard clearly because he's in this like he's so fired up frantic that, yeah state, that he's yeah. he's basically tripping over the words right let's hear home again. me out sorry well, we're not, no no help a man out let like, me hear it help, again help me out you know home me out no no, it, I, no I, it's I ho it's uh, some ho, are saying ho a man out ho a man out yeah ho a man out help ho ho a man out ho a man out home me out some people are hearing uh hold me down so it's like piss on me, beat me, hold me down. Oh, let's hear it. Like he's, you know let's what I mean? Okay. Piss on me, beat me, hold me now. No. Yeah. Hold me now. Uh, own me, in and out. Oh, that's interesting. Let's A lot hear of people that. heard. Hold me now. A lot of people no. heard. No. Uh, hollow me out, in other words. Oh. And they're like, ooh, he's saying hollow me out. Hollow me out. Maybe. Hollow me out. Let me hear it. Hold me now. I, I think it's hollow man out. Uh, it kept going. People, some people heard whole menu, like piss on me, beat no, me. No, that, no. He's not that creative. No. Um, the big one that really stood out to me, I'll tell you which one that I started to believe I was hearing. Mm -hmm. And this one was explained to me by someone, is hone me out. And to hone something out means to make a hole bigger. Uh, let's hear it. Hone, hone me out. Hone me out. Hone me out. No, he. You know, tell you something. That would be such an advanced word for him. He's not thinking that. What? I threw an effect on it. That was terrifying. <laughs> now here's what I did right here. Okay. So here's what I actually believe to be what he's saying. Sure. Okay. I believe, and this was suggested by a, a number of people, that he is actually saying, "I'm home. Home here now. I'm home right now." Oh shit, yeah. dude! That's it. Now. That's that one resonates. And here's why. That's it. Moments before, he gave out his address. Yeah, and that makes sense. And he's like, "I'm home right I'm, now." So he's like, "Piss on me, be me home." And like he's saying to come I'm, over. I'm home right now. So yeah. you can do those I, things I right now. Let's hear it again. I even did an edit where I tried to split up how fast he <laughs> says it. Home here now. Yeah. Home here now. Say home here now. Yeah, and it's kind of like I'm a hot white comeback. Yeah, yeah. Like when he steps on it, like he's like, I'm home yeah. right now. And it's, he's so hopped up that he can't get the words out fast enough that he's home right it. now. I'm yeah, yeah. Home. Yeah. So now it's piss on me, beat me. Now yeah. try to hear home here now. I'm home here. I'm home I, I, here I, now. 100%. I think I agree with this one. Yeah. Piss on me, beat me. I'm home here now. Home here now. I'm home here now. I'm home. Yeah, I'm, I'm home, home here now. now. He wants so you to can say, do those things I, I, right home, now. Yeah, I'm home and I'm here now. Yeah. That's what he's saying. But he... That's he's, what he's saying. He's too frantic. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> home here now. Yeah. Home here now. Yeah, I'm home here. I'm home. I'm here now. 
And um, that and that makes sense actually with his yeah. accent right. and his his And what frantic, he wants to say is piss on me, beat, beat me. me. I'm home right now. I'm Come home on right over now. right now. Here's my address. Yeah. It makes total sense. I think that is wow. it. Wow. Home here now. Home here now. Yeah. I'm I'm home, I'm here now. Um, wow. Yeah. What can I tell you something? Yeah. I rarely get my mind blown. Like I'm my mind is blown cuz I I would never have heard that, but once you point that out, Yeah. That makes and it makes sense in the context of the other parts of the message. I was impressed by it. Um, yeah, I'm home. I'm here now. What I was almost more impressed by wow. was that as soon as we <laughs> uploaded last week's podcast, yeah, where I shared my version <laughs> and asked our listeners to share their versions. Oh my god! Try it out. Oh my god! It started to come in right away. <laughs> guys who love to fucking fuck good. <laughs> If you're a black guy and you want to fuck me, if you want to move in, you can move in. But you got to fuck me. I need to be fucked a lot, man. You get free food, free rent, everything else, man. Here's the deal, man. You're in jail, homeless, you're a thug. You want to come in, move in. Your friend can move in too, man. Free rent. You get a lease and a key. God. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. You see me and you want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. If you're in my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me? Try it out. Fuck. Man, I'm looking for hardcore guys who mean it want to do it. I want him to deliver it. I'm a hot white trash cum dump. Let's fuck. Hey, great job. Wow. Wow. That was Alex. Um, I won't let them all play out in detail, obviously, I mean, but that was stellar. But yeah, Clay. But you'll not, hold on. You know, as he says, you're in my guys building. You want to fuck it good yeah wow, this is creepy and the lighting yeah, terrible lighting's perfect again with the previous guy yeah terrible lighting they did it way better than <laughs> i did with the production value yeah the chest hair showing yeah the weird background fantastic great yeah. work guys great job production You're value is terrible black guy and you want to fuck me at 23 the code to get me the building is 1287 the key's under the front mat i'm in unit 12 you want to move in you can move in man but i need to get fucked fuck <laughs> that's Christ. clay what's going on yeah i was just uh Josh, some some black females who he swiped it. Fuck, yeah, fuck good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, if you right. come over, this is an interpretation. Here you go. Guys, so the fuck, <laughs> fuck good. He's got the ribbon on the head. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen that. Oh, wow. uh, he's got the like. What's the ribbon yeah, doing? There's that ribbon yeah. in the original video. This is Mike. Thanks, Mike. I come over to my house, 24, whatever. <laughs> This, you gotta come over and fuck me because I need to get fucked well, a lot, man. This Here's is great. Deal, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you're homeless, <laughs> out of jail, a thug. You just gotta fuck me, man, because I need to get fucked a lot. Yeah. Right. Jeez. I'm a white trash piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a big black guy in Brooklyn and you want to fuck me. You can me, barely me see. Up. I know. Take that old train. Morgan F, hit me up, man. I'll be out there shaking my little white hole. Piss on me, beat me up, okay? You got fucking thug friends that fucking also like the fuck? Bring them over, man. I got a little white hole that wants to be ripped and cummed on. You want to fucking rip my ass? Rip my ass. That's Dana. Dana took some artistic license on yeah. this interpretation. Like it works. It. I like it's it. good. Yeah. It worked really yeah. well. I like it. It's very dark. Beat me. <laughs> It's so dark. You can barely see this one. That's this hilarious. Is, uh, black guys who love to fuck, <laughs> fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five. If you want to move in, you can move in, man. But you got to fuck me. I need to be fucked a lot, man. You get free food, free money, and everything else, this is man. This great. Deal, man. great. Men from jail, homeless, or uh, <laughs> you want to you wanna come move in. Your friend can move in, too, man. To free rent. You get a lease and a key. <laughs> Piss on me. It's great. Yeah. You know what I would love to see is a stage version of this, like a like a really amazing actor doing this. As oh a monologue. yeah. Like get uh like Jeremy Irons. Yeah. Or like Christopher Walker. Yeah. Or somebody really yeah. really talented to like to. to I mean, these are great. These are fantastic. Yeah. Hey, you know what we should say, start doing huh? when when guests come in here. <laughs> we should start having our guests uh, do a cold reading. Do of the it. monologue. Yeah. I think so too. No prep. That shit is so funny, dude. Watching other people do it now, yeah, uh, it's so it's you see you really get to see the absurdity of his request and the absurdity of, of his mind and how yeah. sick he is and, and and just how ridiculous the whole thing is. But I think you're right that it's uh, I'm here, I'm home right now. Home here now. I'm home here now. Yeah, yeah. that's what he said. Piss on me, baby. I'm home right now. Oh, you can yeah. do it right now. Yeah, come you over. Fuck me right now. Uh, that makes sense contextually. It does make sense. 
And he goes, uh, one guy goes, I'm in the, if you're in the building. Yeah. Does he say that? Yeah, he does. Yeah, so he's saying. You're in my I'm, building, we'll try out, try out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. home here, I'm here right now. I'm here right now. Yeah. What's the accent? Is that, is it in New York or moving, you can move in? We're here right now. Yeah, yeah, right? No, I, I don't think he's in New York. I think it's, it's more like a Midwest. Move in, you can move in. You want to move in, you can move in. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here right now. I think that's, yeah. Uh, uh, well, you're the master. I mean, you lived in these places. I'm looking for hardcore guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for hardcore guys. If you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <sighs> It's really what a, crazy. You know, you, from jail, homeless, or um, you're a thug. These clips, sometimes, you know, you never know when they stop giving. Yeah. And this one has just been a fount yeah, of just giving and giving and giving. What yeah. a wonderful, what a wonder. I wish we had his name, his real name. Yeah, I don't know. Moving I think I could live without knowing his name. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah. But great job. Thanks for sending those in. Um, oddly enough, we, I don't think we got a female submission. Really? <laughs> the hell you say? No women. Maybe there it. is. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't checked. Um, I just let Blue Band send them well, over. Well, then let this be a call out to everybody. We need a female version of the move in. You can move in. Try it out. Um, or a clip. Provide us with a new clip of a woman acting completely insane. And oh, yeah. Hopped well, up on meth and requesting dicks and suckings and stuff. Yeah. Let's let's get a woman clip. I mean, if a woman does the video, she's probably a little scared that it's going to be take, taken kind of seriously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, no, I, I mean, let's find a new clip. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I like what to see that you can move in, you can move in. You want to move in? You can move in. Um, Man, that was great. That was really fun. That really was. Hey, did we mention, I got to mention real quick. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know Cardi B. Yeah. My favorite singer. Of course. Uh, oh, dance. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love her. I got, I make money moves. She's got a new album out. She's doing she, really she's, well. She is just killing that. Yeah. Anyway, Bodak Yellow, it's her big song. She's that's on the old song. That's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a old, old song. song. But she's, yeah. she's just, she's doing so well right now. Yeah. Anyway, she and I planned our pregnancies at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's due in July as well. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we should, uh, we should give her the heads up. Yeah, I was thinking on Twitter, maybe if you guys could let her know that her baby is due the same time as the famous comedian Christina P. That would be amazing <laughs> if, you know the way we got Gloria Stefan's attention yeah. to, to talk about? She came on our show. She came on our show. What if uh, you guys hit Cardi B up so much <laughs> about the fact that she's due when Christina's due, that she's like, yo, yeah. who the fuck is <laughs> Christina P? <laughs> Why, who would have fuck? Because she, yeah, she's got that accent. I be sure. minding my own business and I open my Twitter. Open my yeah, Twitter. Yeah, that would be amazing. Day. Hit it. Will you. Who the fuck is your mom? Will you house? tag Cardi B Please, and just guys. be like, hey, Cardi B, Here. wait, should it be, should we ask her? No. Did you know? Cardi B, did you know? Pretty cool your due date's the same as Christina P. Or yeah. how cool of you to get pregnant at the same time as she yeah. is so mm. uh it's i am cardi b by the way is her is her handle is her handle i am cardi b so hit her up and be like um are you guys going to have your babies in the same room yeah yeah just make any reference to christina being pregnant with her so just be like hey i didn't know uh that you're giving birth the same time as Christina P. Yeah. Did you plan to have the baby at the same time as Christina P? <laughs> are you going to have a a baby party with Christina P with the baby? Yeah, are we going to do our uh, yeah. baby showers together? What's happening? Are we going to yeah. She's on the East Coast, I'm on the West Coast. Let's make it happen. Uh check out this guy. Just this is the kind of guy I could see you getting like rolling your eyes at. I think this is on a train or something somewhere. Prostitutes pee in my mouth. <laughs> 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 but you didn't hear it me though. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> so this you didn't guy, hear it from me. What's he talking about? He said he lets say. prostitutes pee in his mouth. Uh huh. So I think he's drunk on a subway or a train or something. Oh, okay. You know? Someone's recording. To the frog! To the frog! God, is he drinking mouthwash? I got $800. And then 
in the morning, I'll be broke. <laughs> I let prostitutes pee in my mouth. This guy. Yeah, that guy just reading. <laughs> Eyes Not down. Any... Don't even look. You know what that is? That's big city New experience York. right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's when you have been, you know that if you go like that, it's you're awful. inciting. <laughs> you're going to antagonize. You're going to provoke. He's like, I'm when just somebody, reading this iPad. Yeah, when somebody says shit like that on a train next to you, nope. yeah, you act like you don't hear a yeah. fucking thing. And you just record them through your bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. I did it in New York. I did it in London. Portland, Oregon. Santa Cruz. I let prostitutes pee in my mouth. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> yeah. This clip for me is really about the guy sitting next to him. He's great. Trying not yeah. to laugh yeah. right now. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. He, yeah, uh, he's like, what is what is my life right now? Santa Cruz. I let prostitutes pee in my mouth. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, started, started to laugh did. here. Yeah. He started to laugh at the end. Yeah, he broke The him. guy next to him. Yeah, it's... um, hmm. it's, uh, it's That's an interesting... Well, would you really need a, a prostitute for that? You, that to, to me, that seems like an easy ask the wife or the girlfriend. What? No, it's not. You could ask me to do it. I'll try it. I'll try it all right now. I'll pee in your mouth. I'll pee no, on your fucking face. No, that's not something most people ask their... Oh. No. <laughs> I don't I don't take offense to that. For me, it's easy peasy. I'm already peeing anyway. Um, yeah. I wouldn't I, care. I, I mean, that's cool of you, but I think most people that are... <laughs> that's kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that not a, normal? I mean, it's kind of advanced. <laughs> I don't think most people, you know, some people are into pee, but aren't most most probably people aren't like, "Will you pee in my mouth?" And they probably wouldn't. I don't think they would just be like, "Oh, that's a good girlfriend." Ask. Also, do you think he has a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what we should lead with. You think he's just like, "Yeah, I'll just ask my girlfriend for that." No. I guess yeah. I guess not. He seems a little drunk too during the day. A little on the subway. Yeah. This dude is fucking hammered. It looks like it's the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Huh. Huh. They call it a golden shower. <laughs> What's in the head for me? Though? You didn't hear. I'm too young to know. I'm only 57. <laughs> Going on 107. Oof. He's yeah, really drunk. He's ripped. Yeah. Let's see if this says where this was. I don't know if this was. <laughs> no, it just says that he's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I let prostitutes pee in my mouth. I like that he announces that. I said yeah. you let prostitutes pee in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, the world <clears throat> is full of colorful people. Yeah, so you would be, like, you're on board if I'm like, I want you to pee in my mouth. I don't mouth. give a shit. It, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're in a relationship with somebody and that's their thing, yeah. like, that's easy to accommodate. That's, that does that's not, not hard. I'll be honest, that does not <laughs> intrigue me. <laughs> Why not? I've never been into urine. I don't like, I mean, the smell it's of it. It's sterile. I know, but I just, you know, most of the time you smell pee. I don't go like, oh, I smell pee. It's exciting. No. I'm like, ugh, smells like piss. <laughs> you know? But it's like that guy, that McAfee guy, lets people shit in his mouth. That's, to me, different ball game. It is a different ball game. It's a way different ball game. Yeah. Those people should be put somewhere else. Yeah, but, that's mental problems. But my point of, of bringing that up is just that, you know, the smell. How do you deal with the smell? The pee smell? Yeah, let's put things in context. Your pee, this is what, the fourth coffee you've had this morning? Second. Yeah. Second. You drink nothing. First of all, the water champ, let's look right now. Who's got delicious, clear water on their t side of the table who's drinking mostly water in a cup okay that's iced coffee that's your second and that's a, a venti that's not a small so the reason your pee smells horrendous is because you're not <laughs> hydrating enough it smells like a brick of coffee uh, my pee smells great no it smells like an entire carafe of coffee being poured into a toilet look i'm looking for pussy if anyone out there <laughs> <laughs> My pee doesn't smell uh, a lot because it's pretty clear because I drink a lot of water. You see? No, I drink a lot of water. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I drink mostly water. Where's your water now, liar? I'm just having a coffee. That doesn't mean I don't drink mostly water. I never see you drink water. I only see you drinking brown coffee. Oh, my God. You're, you're such a liar. You're such a psycho liar. I never see it. You cannot be trusted. <sighs> That's what I know for sure. I pee in my mouth. You're a fucking liar. You wouldn't want me to pee in your mouth? No, nasty as shit. I want, but you don't have to drink it. Does mouth. he? Does he drink it, or he just 
That's what I'm wondering. He doesn't drink it though, right? How do you know he doesn't drink it? Well, does the McAfee guy eat the poo poo or he just I don't know. Oh, we act like I fucking hang out with these guys. You watch know. the documentary. They, they don't didn't talk about that. whether he eats it. No. Why, is it, why does nobody ask the pressing questions in these films? I don't know. That's like the biggest question. Do you want to get pissed in your mouth? No. Why? <laughs> I, it's. I'm not interested. I'm, I've never thought. Why about... don't you let me pee in your mouth and you can masturbate at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Excuse me, but the next time you masturbate, do you mind if I? What did she say? I don't know. Remember that lady? She's like to ask for analingus. Do you mind if I? Oh, how make would out you with your butthole while you mess it. Yeah, made out with your butthole. Um, it's a very specific thing, fetish. I'd yeah. Say. You want to try it? No. How do you know you won't like it? I know I won't like it. What part of it do you think I you won't know like? I won't like it. It's too hot. It's weird. I, honestly, it's not the smell. It's the temperature. I think would freak me out. Maybe it'll turn you on. I don't think so. You could just bathe. You could roll around in it. I don't Why don't think you so. lay in the tub, let someone pee in your mouth? Because here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not averse to having your fluids on me. Like, obviously, yeah. I don't care about that. I really do think it's the warmth of the pee in my mouth that would make me want to vomit. Because it's like body temperature. Except your pee's really hot, actually. I think your pee is like 105 degrees. <laughs> it's not. Because it's so brown and thick. No, it's not. It's like that guy's cum, like the four-stroke pee. Ugh. That's because it's there's no water in no, it. It's so just so chunky. Shit. There's like brown chunks come out. You're so full of shit. No, it's the temperature more than anything. Mm. Um, And your pee specifically smells very pungent. Very no, strong. Not. Very strong smell. No, it's not. When I go pee on your pee in the middle of the night, yeah, and I smell it, it's it's so dark, it's so brown. No, it's the not. pee is like a brown. No, it's not. Pool. It's clear. It's clear as day. N- oh no. Yeah, it is. Oh no. It's like fucking pool pee pee water. Dude, let's go take a pee challenge right now. I'll fucking show you. My pee's clear. Yours is brown. No, it's not. You say stupid shit nonstop, and no one calls you on. Of course, it. I say stupid shit. This is your mom's house, babe. This is. The platform for stupid shit. Yeah, I drink nothing but water and coffee all day. Okay. Then why does it smell like coffee only? It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. You're a fucking it's liar. It's so strong. Okay. Ugh. Your pee is mostly red. Okay. Yeah. Red pee? Yeah. Right now, being pregnant? From blood, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that makes no sense, baby. Yeah, it does. No, and I actually... I'll be honest, you scared yeah. me with how little water you've been drinking. <laughs> I'm being totally serious. I see you drinking soda. Okay. I see you drinking uh, alcohol, but I don't see you drinking <laughs> any water. I'm serious. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Listen, um, can I read an email that came in from our friend Matt on the East Coast? Um, sure. He says his son's... They were having a, a a family discussion, and it's kind of an interesting topic, and I, I definitely think it's appropriate for our show. Okay, so would you do this? Would you take this offer? It's a modified would you rather. Okay. Okay, from this moment until the end of your life, all, of course I'm fucking blind, all the food you eat will taste like the best version of whatever it is you're eating. So if you're eating pizza, it will taste like the best pizza ever. Okay. If you're eating snooshers, it's the best snooshy ever. But every time you fart, it will smell 1% worse than the last fart you made with no limit on how smelly your farts Oof. will become over time. So once you accept the deal, the next fart you make will be the baseline. Do you make this deal? Why or why not? Um so, so thank you, Matt, for submitting this. Both both things happen in this scenario? You get so the best food ever? You get the best food ever, but every time you fart, it gets 1% worse than the last time. Take the deal. <laughs> I mean, who would not take that deal? Well, because your farts are going to be horrendous by the end of your life. It's going to be napalm. Yeah, but it's who cares? I mean, it's Who not, cares? Well, yeah, it's like... I care. Well, your farts are already bad. No, there's no such thing as good farts, so it's already smells disastrous. <laughs> You're saying it's going to smell worse, but you get the best tastes ever whenever you eat anything? I mean, yeah. this is a, it's an easy one. Yeah, but it's not for me. Here's why. <clears throat> is that I don't want my food to taste the best ever because then I get fat. Just fucking whatever. Check yourself. Regulate. It's fine. Yeah, but food tastes even better than it does now. You know how hard it is for me just to maintain? Not when I'm pregnant, it's honestly. It's hard. It's but... hard. But I mean, how could you turn that? You wouldn't. He's saying 
that if you have a bite of a cookie, if you have a piece of pizza, I know I have... don't want it to be the best tasting ever. Okay, because then I'd be the fattest person ever. No. Yeah. You can, no, you could just stop. You could, there's some things you eat now that are amazing. You don't just keep going crazy on them. What I are you guess, talking about? I guess. Yeah, you have self restraint. Yeah, but one percent worse fart every time is terrible. You won't be able to stew in your own, babe. You won't even be able to sit in your own fart. Yeah, you. you but you'd work out a system. You'd be like, oh, I got a fart coming, and you. You go outside and you'd run every time you have to fart or something and run? just let it behind you. Yeah, you'd just be like, I got to fart. And then you'd run away from your smell. Yeah. <laughs> but what about me? Like, you're not, you don't think that would bother me over time? Like I just said, I'm outside running away from it. Yeah, but that's a lie. Okay, let's, let's be realistic here. Uh, uh, you're not going to do that. I just get you a mask. You think I want to sleep with a mask on? You're not gonna, it's not for sleep, it's just for the moment when I fart. Dude, but you, here's when your farts mostly happen. Okay. At nighttime when we're laying in bed in yeah. the middle of the night. Middle of the night. Mornings. Dude, you fart at like four in the morning. Yeah. Super loud. And then you think it's the best <laughs> thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm like, oh, like I'm all startled and I wake up. <clears throat> you fart in the morning too. First thing. So what What am I supposed to be worried about? That it smells bad? Yes, dude. So? Do you think I want to smell that fart? <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting these great tastes. I don't care about your tastes. I care about your farts. Yeah, but I'm saying that I would take it. Because I want to have those great tastes, and I don't care if it smells a little bit worse every time. You're going to ruin your marriage. Why would I ruin it? Look how bad your dad's farts smell. Yeah, those are bad. That's really bad. And he, right? he may have taken up this offer. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody may have given him this offer. I mean, his farts smell like this offer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's a life ruiner. Like, your dad's farts are just... Tear. They clear out movie theaters. You would stuff. fucking. You would survive. I would survive, but I wouldn't be happy. Why? Why would you be unhappy? Because you have to smell a little rotten fart every now and then. Every now and then, my life is your farts. The other day, we were in the kitchen, and you forced my hand on your underwear as you farted on my hand. Do you think that was nice? I don't remember that. Yeah, I felt the vibration. I remember doing the cool one where I uh, I played with my butt cheek as I farted. Yeah, so that's the pitch neat. went. I remember that yeah. one. Yep. That was pretty cool. I just feel like I deal with a lot of your farts and for them to smell worser, why worser? Yeah. Is is not it's not cool. For I feel me. like it's fine. I feel like it's fine. Well have fun with your second wife. Let's talk about her. Who do you think she's like? <laughs> I think your second wife is gonna be a Dalmatian. Because yeah. second wives usually are. Yeah, we've been studying some second <laughs> wives. Uh, we know some people that are on their second wife. Like um, showbiz second wives. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah. the guy gets a little cash. He has a midlife crisis. He dumps the first wife and the kids and the family and then runs off with just the fucking skankiest, dumbest. Yeah, it happens. It yeah. happens a lot. Seen it a few times. Yeah. And it's, you know... Of course, it's admirable. Everybody goes, "That's awesome," <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like, what? Who it's do you awesome. see me? With? Who do you? How do you see it playing out for me? <sighs> um, I definitely think that your second wife is going to be way younger. Uh, obviously, okay, let's start with like age. We're going to okay. go. Yeah, yeah. So wait, this happens probably like what five, six years from now. Yeah, like when in your mind the kids are grown. You're right, like, well, but they're like seven. five, it's fine. seven. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're doing great in elementary school. And then you, you know, you're a big movie star, a big celebrity. And right. you're, you're one of your ingenue co stars. She just turned 20. She's like the new hot. 20. She's 20. She's just 19. She's 20 year years ago. younger than me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, blonde, I know you like blondes. Mm -hmm. And just really not demanding, like not smart. That's all right. That's like There's, the key. Well, the key to it, from what I've seen uh, on these. <laughs> Uh, these second wives. Yeah, a lot of le lot less of this. A lot less talking. A lot less chatting. A lot less opinions. No opinions. Um, no things you have to do today. No, you know, there's no no errands, schedule or er yeah chores. And that's what I think that these the midlife guy goes towards. He's yes. like, oh, this is great. Yeah. But then he sometimes has to remember that <laughs> then there's going to be no opinions. No, pain, no, no, no conversations that are gonna be decent. Right. She's got to say stuff like, "Wow, babe." She'll call you babe a lot. Yeah, baby. But yeah. <laughs> oh my god, baby, I love this. A lot of hair extensions. 
uh, big fake tits, and she's just going to say things like... She doesn't like, have to have big fake tits, though, right? I no, mean, she does. She's the second wife. They all do. They all have second... I think. Don't they? I don't think or so. just, you know. Um, wow, babe, this is awesome. Like, yeah. those are the phrases you're going to hear a lot of. Oh, my of. God. Yeah. 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 Wow, babe. Oh, I love you, babe. Yeah. It's a lot of, yeah, Dalmatian talk. Yeah. The second wife has to be way dumber than the first. Oh, definitely. And That's... That's part of what you're looking for. Yeah, way less qualified as a human. Right. Like just like a stupid girl. And she's just like, your kids are so cute. Yeah. Just tell me how cute my kids are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love this feels it. more a girlfriend than wife, though. No, just, that's the point. See, that's the thing is that it should be just a girlfriend. But like I marry her anyway. Yeah. And then what? Then I'm like, oh fuck. No, you love it because oh. you you've had the first wife who's all these you know words yeah, words yeah, words yeah. ideas yeah yeah orders. And you're so over it and upset that like the Dalmatian's a relief because you can just do what you want, come and go as you please. You are singing to me right now. And I <laughs> love it. When, um, how do you prevent this from happening? Because it sounds like just how do I prevent? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You got you tell me. I don't know. It just sounds great. <laughs> so I don't. Twenty. Blonde, yeah, blonde, big tits, big tits, stupid as, as all get out. <laughs> <laughs> and and like my kids spend a lot of time with her and yeah. they love her. Oh, yeah. that's the other oh, part. That's the thing. She, yeah, because yeah. she's she's home. her same age. Like emotionally, yeah. she's about the same level. She's like, I got I got them slime. We did a slime party, and I'm like, what's a slime party? Yeah. All the kids are doing it. And she rented out a room at the Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. Fucking, we all had slime party, and she's yeah. the coolest. And I'll be like, because she knows all this and stuff. Because like, she's a fucking mom, teenager. Mom, Shandy said that yeah, Shandy. we. <laughs> We... That's such a horse name, <laughs> Shandy. <laughs> yeah, Shandy. Oh, yeah, awesome. Shandy, uh, Shandy, let me get hair extensions. Shandy took me to the uh, yeah. salon Shandy and I got, got me fake a nails. Yeah. yeah, no, no. Shandy, Shandy will get them acrylic nails when they're like seven. My boys. Oh, that's right. We want girls. You notice it was she. She wanted. She want to whore up your daughters if you had oh, daughters. Right, right. Uh, spoil them. Let them do what they want. Yeah. And you have to hear about how great Shandy is. You just you think you would just tolerate it? Oh like, my god, mm. no! I would go to a mental hospital. Like, oh really? I would if you did that shit to me and our family. Yeah, I, I would just be institutionalized. I think really? I would just give up. Oh my god, this is even would, more exciting. How do I get this uh, <laughs> done? This is great. I would just be. I would be a shell if you did this to me. Oh now, my god! Now that's what second wife. So what's second husband like usually? A second husband is no, usually no women shut it down. Mm. I think women. If you if you have this happen to you. Sometimes here's it goes two ways. The fifty year old woman just either shuts it down, like mm -hmm. Jane Fonda. She's older than that, fifty, but oh, she's like seventy five. Yeah, she just came out and she was like, "I shut it down." Like <laughs> women go the other way, where they're like, "I'm over it. I'm never getting married again." Yeah, I don't need a vagina. I'm fine. I'm in menopause. Don't touch me. I'm having hot flashes. Or they go hypersexual. Yeah. And they're like, I'm going to adult con this weekend. I'm going to touch vibrators and and, yeah. and I'm a MILF, guys. And they really advertise themselves as a MILF. Maybe you do that. Maybe you start a new site. Yeah. What? What? From Fart Mistress, I just convert it. <laughs> to uh, ChristinaGilf.com. Yeah. <laughs> Gilf? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> You're going to be at some point. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God. <laughs> No, but then I have to lose like 50 pounds and get lipo and fix my tits. All right. If you want to go the hypersexual And route. then I go hypersexual. It's too much work. I know you. You'd be like, I don't want to do all that shit. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Yeah, you'd be like, no, 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 no. No, no. Shut no, it down. No, shut it down. Uh, but then, you know, I'd find some like age gap love shit. You would? Some 28-year-old loser, oh. you know, playing the video games. He'd be your and companion? I'd, yeah, and I would just take care of him. Ugh. That's the equivalent, babe, of the Dalmatian wife. That's what not, I can't see you going that route. I might. I mean, what the if, video game guy. Well, that's I'm, not I'm for the, you. I'm the breadwinner, and he's just like. He I play hangs video. Out. You would not like that. That's not. Well, your type. do you think you would like the Dalmatian wife? Yeah, of course. I'm talking about something more reasonable for you. Of course, I want the Dalmatian wife. That's a, but that's not. That's six years away. <laughs> Babe, you would not be able to tolerate <laughs> six years away. Uh, how stupid she is! Because she would say dumb things. That's true. Oh my god! All I'd the time. Like, oh, my like, god. oh, she's so embarrassing. Yeah, I would have uh, like uh, dinners, but I'd be like, uh, no, it's just gonna be me and my friends. But you... it would be other couples. <laughs> 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 They'd be like, "Where's your Dalmatian?" I'm like, "Oh, she had 
choir practice. But you know your other friends would talk so much shit about oh your Dalmatian wife. Of course. Oh my god, it would never. That would be, be okay. like their one of their go to gossip things. Of course. Like, Have you seen Tom's new wife? Oh my God, she's so dumb. She's so dumb. Christina was so much smarter than her. Yeah, but then oh Bert would jump God. in. But she's got big tits. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Be a lot. Um, Damn. You know, I might get into some like real kinky stuff next. Do you, do you know, this is something, I don't know how much I could tolerate of this. This is so weird to me that people really do this. Of Peter Pan, I never want to grow up. Can't put it on the fridge. Hooray! I'm a little, and he's my daddy. The end. Ugh, I'm gonna vomit on this. I think it's so weird to me. So like this is it. some. Uh, this woman likes to be babied. She's a grown woman. Yeah. Likes to be treated like a baby, and he pretends to be her dada. Okay, this is definitely but for Doctor Drew. It's here's what what strikes me even more besides the obvious. Is that we're actually with a toddler yeah. all the time? Yeah. So the fact that this is somebody's choice to be like this is so really <laughs> stands out as stupid. Stupid or damaged? Because yeah. I think what happened is some so much trauma. Like I bet you this one is sexual trauma, and she wants she needs to regress or something to it. feel okay because she's not embracing adult. Sexual. This is why you know those uh, porno girls have really high voices. Yeah. They talking baby talk. It's yeah. that's sexual molestation. But here's the thing. How does this guy bang her? Because you know if well. he's, ta- he's talking to her like a baby all the time, you know, and then you're gonna. He's like, he's like, okay, we read our book. You ready to go to sleep now, boo boo? And then then she's like, I want to fuck. It's like that's really. Uh, do they have intercourse? Do I don't we know. know. Let's get through it. Of men who move dimly and already crumbling through the power dreary air. Peppa and Emily Elephant like to share their toys with each oh, other. My name is Max, and I'm 20, but not really, because I'm five. Oh, boy. Uh, my name is Johnny, and I'm 31. Oh, see, there you go. Already. Just to start, so he is 11 years older than her, yeah. right? Yeah. So he yeah. doesn't mind taking on, I guess, the... The paternal role. Is it, you know what, what always stands out to me about something like this? Is the effort. The amount of effort. I, I would be like, am I talking to you like you're a fucking baby right now again? It's it seems exhausting. Exhausting. Yeah. I could do this. You know, I could do this for a date. Like if I went out with someone, they're like, talk to me like a baby or something. I'd be like, all right. But then at the end of the day, I'd be like, there's no, no. way I could do this again. <laughs> I, I don't even think I could last a date. I, I, this is so wackadoo. I mean, this chick's got so many fucking mental problems and so does he. But maybe he likes the dependency of it. Yeah. She's totally, you know, a baby. It's so, it's rain, so sick. Yeah. Yeah. You go park. Yes, because you're off. I have a daddy baby day. Daddy baby, that's good jacket on. Okay. Oh. And shoes. Oh. I have to wear shoes. Oh also, I want to take Moana. Okay. Oh my. So he's got to be like, you have your shoes. You know, we got to go out with shoes. Yeah, she, she needs her daddy. She can't put them on. She needs her daddy. So, some DDLG, he by is definition, doing. is Daddy Dom Little Girl, and it is a subsection of BDSM, which is a part of kink. I was right. just discovering things about the community, learning a bit more about it. I decided to um, try it out, and it out. I've just loved it ever since. It's just wow. been amazing. I'm a pizza. Try it out. So this, this grinds her crank. This really gets her going. This is a sexual... I mean, I guess, you know... I'd like to encourage people to find out what they like. I gotta tell you, this I don't the adult baby diaper thing. I don't get either. I don't. I don't understand what the turn on is about being an infant or acting. It's really that's your wires are crossed, man. This is some fucking wire crossed shit. There are a lot of people in the community that do this sexually, um, and I am not one of those people. Oh, thank this God. is a completely non sexual lifestyle for me. Oh, thank God. Okay, so now that that's more. So that's that better. means that she does fuck. But only when she's out of character. Thank God. Okay. I, I, you know what I mean? I think the role, the, I understand the role playing. Maybe she's healing some childhood trauma or something. Yeah. But the I, fucking the five year old. I think it's just so I funny think. to be uh, the guy. Oh my and God. And have, the like, guy. how's your girlfriend? Good. What do you guys do for fun? Well, she pretends to be five. We go to the park. Yeah. We do Play Doh. <laughs> Little Max first told me that yeah. uh, she was part of this lifestyle. She had shown me the videos that she was watching. She showed me a sippy. Right now I'm uh, Jesus showing Christ. her how to count, and uh, <laughs> we're going over the alphabet. They're like, what? Yeah. 
push her on the swings. There's a teeter totter. Yeah, she mean... she could spell her name. She could spell my name. Uh, <laughs> she could spell the dog's name. Yeah, we're really in a Thomas the Train right now. She can count all the way to ten and back. <laughs> this is your girlfriend? Yeah. She likes Peppa the pig. I saw that. Yeah, that's a good one. Because she was watching, she well, yeah, showed me a sippy cup, guy. and that she was eating these baby snacks. And I think that's when we, that's when we had the conversation about it. Look well, at yeah, this fucking asshole. Yeah, he's nice though. Look right? at his Cosby sweater and his ear plug, his butt yeah. plugs and his ears yeah. and all this. But he's a nice guy. Is he a nice guy for doing this to humor sure. this psycho? I think Jesus. so. Jesus, what's his deal? I know a lot of people down on more hardcore versions of the uh, DDLG subset, but for a lot of for a lot of people, it's non-sexual. It's and like for us, it's non-sexual. Could you imagine I seeing guess, this see, shit in isn't public? That sh I know it's nuts. Doesn't it just show you there really is someone for everyone though? <laughs> there is, man. It's the internet. How lucky that she found him. I would say. Luck. Because most guys, if she was dating and she was like. I go. I I learned blue sky blue, and there's and, you know they, he'd be like, and then this is a square. They like the fuck are you doing right now? <laughs> Come wipe me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is like other level. Could you imagine? I would love to see these two playing in the park. I'm like, what is happening? How weird must it get? Cause she said that a lot of people in this lifestyle do a sexual play on this. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm wondering what the deal is there. That's real. I think that's that's trauma. Has Sorry. To be, right? It's yeah. gotta be. You're reenacting the trauma. Oh fuck. That's I mean really there's gross. there's no way this is <laughs> I'm little a lot of the time, especially when we're at home. Cool. Yeah. Um, when Good. we're just relaxing and I'm with him. I'm little when I wanna be. Um I'm little when it's right to be. But of course it's it's not something that like I can't well, control. Good. Like She's if we're out smart. in public, you know. I don't just randomly like shout daddy because that's involving other people and something that they didn't consent oh, so she's to. smart. Okay. Yeah. So she's pretty smart. she understands boundaries. She understands indoor outdoor. This really is fun for her. She yeah. You know what? Now that I see her, she seems rational. Yeah. And if this brings her joy, then, you know, good for her. Yeah. But she, she definitely needs it. to make an appointment with a therapist and, and uh, get on that. She really likes <laughs> pretending to be a little girl. My I want to dog, talk to somebody. My daddy takes care of me, but I also take care of him. We take care of each other. And I think having that nurturing aspect yeah. to the relationship really makes it strong. Thank you, Papa. Kiss. Okay. You know, this could be girl. This could be a uh, wife number two. Oh boy, it is. Like, it's the same thing. Yeah. For me, basically. You know, a dependent, dum dum. <laughs> No, this this chick needs serious mental counseling. See if she's still into this. Anything yeah, that just just like going to a shrink once a week, twice a week, maybe for her would just let, do wonders. Yeah, I think uh, getting. Yeah. I think this discussion would. Yeah, she needs some professional help her out a lot. Yeah. I have um, an extensive <sighs> list of rules, but the main ones are no tantrums, uh -huh. um, no saying no, and those are the two that I'm not that great at. If I break a rule. Then I, I get timeouts. So I just have to go. sit here in the corner and stare at the wall and do nothing. Yeah, what the fuck is this all about? <laughs> What's going on? Why are you doing this? What the fuck is going on? It's right. But hey, you know what? It sounds like she's a, a pretty rational human and she knows that, hey, this is my fun time. I, I have boundaries and I do this in the house and... To yeah. try and explain this lifestyle in terms of a little, this lifestyle is kind of like a coloring book where she hands me the lines and I can just fill them in with whatever color I want. Basically. Oh boy. They're both equal. Yeah. Why is it five? She, five and she's still drinking out of a sippy? Yeah, get on your uh, advanced sippy stuff. Well, she can drink out of a cup by now. At five? Yeah. yeah Ellis has the same exact uh, sippy. He stopped that one. He stopped this, yeah. yeah, to go to school. I mean, they didn't I even let you so bring that in preschool. Vulnerable and so open in little space that that's where I want to keep it. Like it's, oh, it's a safe place, and it's a place that we share a together. Safe place. You have fun today. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. The best fun in the world. The most fun ever. That would wear on me quickly. So quickly. Like, even right now. I know. When she said like, eh, the world. I'd be like, hey, can you stop doing that? <laughs> I'd be so bad at being that. That, but that's also the the time we live in. This whole yeah. safe place horse shit. This is my safe place. I can be what fucking weird as I want. Yeah. 
What's wrong with these motherfuckers, I dude? God, we won't have fucking decency anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't we just go back to repressing our desires like a normal society yeah. and be contributing members? Just repress this shit and go do something else with your life. It's good advice. You know what I mean? Go go contribute to society. It's good advice. Repressed desires are good because they make you you sublimate them through other things. This I know you're gonna get a kick. Go out fucking of. win a Nobel Prize, you you're, psycho. You're gonna have some so hungry. thoughts. All right, good. I'll read this, okay? So hungry. I'll read this to you. This is an email that came in. Hey moms, I've been with my boyfriend for almost two years. And as he is getting more comfortable with me, he is also getting grosser. About one year into dating, we went on a two-week-long trip. A few days into the trip, I noticed that he hadn't taken a shower yet, and he insisted that he showered after I'd fallen asleep. I believed him at first, but as the first week went by, I noticed none of the hotel towels were moving from where I had got put them, and the shampoo and soap hadn't moved. The next week, he got a really bad sunburn and used that as an excuse to not shower for the rest of the trip. Turns out he didn't shower for a month. Fast forward to a year later. We now live together, and he was showering every few days at first, but now he just washes his hair and his junk maybe once every two weeks. I confront him about it all the time and tell him that he smells like dirty skin, but he just laughs about it. I've tried to get him to shower with me, but he always makes up an excuse. Also, he has the same bottle of soap in the shower since I first met him. I worry that I'm starting to not notice the smell and that our whole apartment smells like him. He is also an athlete, so that makes it <gasps> extra gross. <sighs> Do you have any suggestions to help me make him shower? Also, what is the longest you have gone without showering? Oh. And what is an acceptable amount of time to go without one? I can't go two days. No. Nope. Thanks for taking the time to read this. Love the show. Hannah. I mean, do you want to start? Like well, I mean, you know, obviously there there is probably some root issue involved in this being something for him. In other words, this doesn't most people do shower that are yeah, normal, healthy, functioning, involved in society. Not 5-year-olds. Yeah, so uh I you know, there might be something tied to this guy's well uh, childhood some experience oh, oh I, I might go even something more basic i had a, a, a roommate in college that had severe uh, skin psoriasis or eczema or something mm -hmm. some kind of skin condition yeah and so showering for him was rare as well because it would aggravate the skin condition so he might have like a medical i don't know but uh, she would pick up on that i think probably, like to just be adverse to taking showers it's it's definitely unusual, especially someone that works out a lot. Yeah, this is a psychological issue, too. Yeah. I think something's yeah, wrong. Yeah, because, I mean, that's one of the main things. I mean, I'm going to go to the gym here in a minute, and it's like Ugh. you come back, and you're soaking wet. And, yeah, sometimes, you know, you get distracted, and it starts to dry, but you feel that that dry sweat on you. And ew, ew. You know what? I am. I shower every day, no matter how horrible I feel. I think the only times I've ever skipped is when I've been really ill with like a fever. Even when I gave birth, I yeah. think I showered uh, the next day. I've been very sick and <laughs> like, missed a couple of days. You know, I'm talking two, but in two, bed. Sick, sick. Yeah, yeah. sick, sick, sick. Um, with like a, a, a viral or bacterial infection yeah. or something, vomiting. And you're just like, I'm, and you know, if, if you have shakes because you, you know, yeah. your temperature's swinging a couple of days. But being healthy, I mean, the longest would be <laughs> oh skipping a day because of. Yeah. Because of whatever scenario, you know. A day. A day. But I am so fanatic about my body smelling cl clean and feeling yeah. fresh. I just feel greasy and oily. Yeah, I who doesn't hate like it. that? I love the post clean That's feeling. That's the best. Even a lot of times tired, I'll, I've gone through, you know, a lot of times I shower right before bed. If I have a long day, yeah. it's like I'm about to get in bed. I'm like, no, I'm going to shower first. Shower, then get in bed. Feels good. It feels good. Yeah. I mean, uh, listen. I don't know how this isn't a deal breaker for this woman I don't sexually. They, oh my god. Because you, uh, uh, just as a partner, I think uh, as a courtesy, like his dick and balls can't smell great. She said he does it once every two weeks. He yeah. And not only that, it's it can give you infections too, UTIs, uh, you yeast know what infections, I would say? stuff it, like they're that. They're not new together. It's yeah. a couple of years. I would sit down. I'm serious. I would go for this. And I would say, look, you know, I, you know, I love you. You know, I'm with you. Yeah. Let's just talk about it. Yeah. Why is just, she just, just straight about? up? Yeah. Let's talk about what's going on. 
And he's going to be like, wait, with what? <laughs> Let's just be straight up about it. Okay. Yeah. Just tell me so that I know. What is your aversion to showers? Like yeah. what's going on? What's going on? And then he, he might be like, no. I'll be like, no, no, no. Like we've been together for a couple of years. We live together. So you know I'm into you. Yeah. But I just want to know. And then maybe you get a little bit under the surface. See, but I think sometimes if it is a psychological trauma mm-hmm. or some kind of an issue, yeah. a lot of people don't even know what that thing is but, consciously. But the converse, like the conversation starter is going to get something going. Can I tell you, uh, as a woman, what I would do? Uh, I think the, yeah. the, the trick is to get in with dudes is sexual stuff. Be like, look, I love you. I want to keep fucking you. Yeah. I can't fuck you if your dick smells. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and you can also do the... Um, uh, <laughs> if if reason doesn't work. You can lead, like, like basically set up that sex is going to happen. And then he's like, yeah. And then be like... <laughs> but go sure. you hop. But see, that's just going to get it done no, that no, time. No, 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 no. It's a long... I'm saying the long-term discussion needs to happen like you're, excuse me, like you're saying? Yeah. But she needs to maybe make a, a, an incentive for him if he's not willing to, because she says she's asked, right? Mm. I think she needs to incentivize him a little bit. And maybe the sex is. Yeah, I'd want to know. I'd be like, I really want to know what's up. <sighs> Sounds horrible. I mean, that, especially if he's exercising, that's really not cool. Yeah. It's, then again, there are just people who don't shower frequently, who it's their thing. Yeah. I mean, I have uh, relatives who are not big bathers, and I'm talking going days and days and days. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't I'm know big on that hygiene, man. I, I got to have it. I can't stand it if my hair is greasy and I'm smelly or like. Oh, yeah. And I can't, I can't be with someone like that. I, I mean, can't. think about your 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 asshole and your dick and balls and your vag. Like, to me, not having a dirty vagina is like it's just I can't I cannot. You know what I'm saying? Well, dudes too. I mean, like, we we know you know if you skip a day, what's going on in your ball bag? Yeah, of course. You run that thumb of along course. that crease, and you go. Oh, and like, Oof. you can smell it. Your nuts stink. Well, of course. I mean, same with women. It's a it's hot genitals. pocket down there. Yeah, it's just There's sweat. Folds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those, yeah. It's you got to get soap in there. You got it. Yeah, you're right. How, I mean, there's, there's no way she can blow this guy on a regular. There's basis. no way. And again, you can get all kinds of infections from somebody who's not hygienic down there. You know. He's one of those guys. You know, sometimes you're out in public, you're in line at the grocery store, and all of a sudden, someone walks by, and you go like, oh. Yeah. And they get that, that B.O. trail, you know, where you go like yes, this motherfucker. Yes, it's so nasty. And they walk around like everything's fine, you piece Ugh, of shit. It's so nasty. That's why people wear patchouli. They cover that Ugh, shit up with the nasty oils and I stuff. I hate patchouli. I hate it too. That's it's another thing I got to put out there for wife number two. No patchouli oil. No. Shower all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but she does that. She's wife number two. No, wife number two's got all kinds of time because she doesn't She's have hygienic. a job. Yeah. She doesn't really have hobbies. She just likes to exercise. This was a, you know. another message came in. It's pretty funny. Hey, Jeans, after a busy morning, I took to my car to take a break. Recline my seat and listen to your mom's house while relaxing. I roll the window down this beautiful day and amidst listening to an edit of Tom and friends in a gay orgy calling a phone sex line. Remember that prank call? <laughs> yeah. I noticed through my rear view window my female boss who was parked behind me taking notice of the ungodly sounds coming from my car. Uh-oh. After five to ten seconds of clearly listening to the phone sex call, she got in her car and drove off. I immediately laughed so hard at the thought of her thinking about how I watch gay porn on my breaks. <laughs> I have since run into her, and the Hilarious. incident has yet to be addressed. I want to thank the mommies for now creating this unspeakable tension we shall forever hold between us. Wow. Kurt, that's true, because that, that call was really graphic. Really, and long, too. Yeah, and it was all like, yeah, fucking come on me, suck my... It was really, really intense. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that's great. But you got to try to listen, you know, with earbuds. Yeah. I guess. Um, Roll your windows up. Jeez. It says, jeans, until the day I die, the phrase try it out has been forever ruined. Yep. I can't hear without fuck me, piss on me, and beat me. Going Running through my brains. When test driving a new car, getting a new putter... Or the first time my wife had me wear this swaddle cloth with my new son, she asks Aww. if I want to and utters that damn phrase. I'm now holding my son. <laughs> All I can hear is a man ask me to piss him on him and beat him. I wonder if it's a first in human history. Love you, Andrew. We have ruined. Try it out. It's ruined for me. It's ruined, yeah. I mean, I say it 
just it'll know. come out and then I just I start laughing. What are you laughing at? I'm like, I just try it. <laughs> I know. So many phrases are destroyed for us. Yeah. Uh, someone tells me to be careful. I used to, to be carefree and scratch my ass all the time. I got a <laughs> then I got a pylondial sin- cyst. Uh, I apparently scratched and broke the skin a bit and I've allowed bacteria these. to get in over time and form a cyst. I couldn't sit down comfortably. I had to have surgery to have it removed and cleaned out. Yeah. Sorry, it this sucks. is from scratching too hard. Yeah, scratching the crack too hard. The crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to go. He he said he he did his finger just to the crack, like direct skin to skin. Well, yeah, I actually had one of those when I was 19. Yeah. I had that, that system. It, is it from right. scratching directly? Uh, I got mine from horseback riding. Oh, fuck horses. I went horseback riding, and I have a hairy butt. Mm-hmm. And so you're like, the whole time you're rubbing, you know? To, yeah. Like that? Yeah. And then I was like, wow, this hurts. And I yeah. showed it to a, it was actually a friend's mom who was a nurse. Oh, my God. And she was like, mm, you need to go. Where Where was it? On your butt? The top. Cheek? The very top yeah, of the, the crack. Yeah, the top of the crack. The, the middle. At the very top. Sure. And then I went and the guy was like, oh, yeah, you have this thing. And a cyst had formed, you know, started to form. Sure. And I was like, it hurts. He's like, yeah, it's because, uh, like, it's infected now. I was like, oh, I was totally scared. Oof. He gave me um, a, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, antibiotic. Wait, wait, oh. And that night, that night, the cyst <gasps> exploded. Ugh. But it did it in my sleep. So I just woke Ugh. up. And when I when I wake up, my buck my box it had ruptured and then dried because it was in my sleep. We're all crusty. I'm like, what the fuck? And I take them off, and there's like Ugh. dried blood and cyst. How juice. big was the cyst? No, it's just it's like a little thing, like, like a this. quarter. No, yeah, smaller than that even. Yeah, a nickel. Yeah, I guess. Ugh, it was all pus and blood. Mm-hmm. It's nasty. It was yeah. super nasty. Yeah. And then that, that's where you want me to put my mouth. No, below that. Yeah, no thanks. Lower on. Yeah, lower. what? I mean, what part of you thinks that this is okay? Well, know. so he's telling you don't scratch so hard, finger. Uh, he's saying to, be careful because like, yeah. you, it's like the same thing as the horseback riding. You know, you it's can chafing irritate. It. Yeah, sure, sure. I, that's why I advocate if you've got a butt scratch, just rub your finger over the your underwear. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Go through the un- don't go under the underwear. Yeah. Just scratch through your clothing. Why? So what? Wash your underwear, right? Okay. Sure. Don't touch skin to skin and then your fingers all dirty. So what your chonies get dirty. That's what they're for. Um, Wash them. All right. I got to uh, try gotta, it out. Yeah, we got to try it out. Um, that's it, Gene. What else you got? Anything else? No, I think I'm good. I'm, uh, I love you. I love you too. Um, we got to get I'm, going. I'm, I'm home. I'm going to say I'm home. Home here now. I'm home here now. Piss on me. Beat me. Home here now. <laughs> I'm, home, I'm, here. I'm home. I'm here now. Home, piss on me, beat me, home here now. I'm home, I'm here now. I think that's what he's saying. I think piss on me, beat me, home here now. Home, I'm, I'm, Fuck, I'm now, now. I'm home, I'm here now. But I, I think you're right. Context. Home, here now. Home, I'm home, I'm here now. Home, I'm home right now. I'm mm-hmm. home right now. I think so. I'm home right now. Um, all right, we got to run. Uh, here is the all-time classic song, Oh My Gosh. Oh. Um, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Don't forget... The Four Stroke Gang shirt is uh, in the store. Uh, TomSegura.com. It's terrible. Don't buy that Christina shirt. Christina P. Don't online. buy that shirt. Don't, don't support Tom in this, please. Please support me in this. Don't support this lunacy. Bye, Gene. Bye. Oh, my God.
That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all.